Uh, welcome to the sixth meeting in 2024 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. I would like to remind everyone to please switch off or put to silent your mobile phones and other electronic devices. And I would like to welcome Christine Graham attending the public part of this meeting. The next item of business is to decide whether to take, take items five and six in private. Is the committee content to take these items in private? Yeah. Under agenda item number two, we are considering instruments subject to the affirmative procedure. No points have been raised on the draft Scottish Food Commission Appointment Regulations 2024, the draft Budget Scotland Act 2023 Amendment Regulations 2024, and the draft Local Government Finance Scotland Order 2024. Is the committee content with these instruments? Under agenda item number three, we are considering five instruments subject to the negative procedure. Issues have been raised on two of the instruments. The first instrument is SSI 2024-26, the Firefighters Pension Schemes Scotland Amendment Order 2024. The instrument amends the Firemen's Pension Scheme Order 1992 and the Firefighters Pension Scheme Scotland Order 2007 to extend the period during which persons who were employed in Scotland as retained firefighters have access to a pension scheme. The order states at Rule 1C3 that, and I quote, where the deceased was not married or a member of a, of a civil partnership at the time of the deceased's death, a child of the deceased may apply in writing to the authority for a death grant and any such application must be made on or before 30th of September 2024. Elsewhere in the order, the date 31st March 2025 is given for similar eligibility for civil partners and spouses. In correspondence with the Scottish Government, published alongside the papers for this meeting, the committee queried this and the Scottish Government confirmed that it is an error and is regretted. The Scottish Government proposed to correct this in the next amending instrument. This committee wished to draw this instrument to the attention of the Parliament on reporting ground I, that the instrument's drafting appears to be defective on the basis that the date specified in the new Rule 1C3 inserted by Article 4 of this instrument is incorrect. And whilst acknowledging that the Scottish Government proposes to amend the instrument to correct the error at the next opportunity and with retrospective effect, if necessary, does the Committee wish to call upon the Government to fix the error sooner rather than waiting until the next amending instrument? Also, in relation to this instrument, the committee queried uh, what would happen if an, el an, el excuse me, if an eligible spouse, civil partner or child of a firefighter who died close to or on the 31st of March 2025 did not make their application before this date. The Scottish Government confirmed it is the intention that the 31st of March 2025 is specified as a deadline for applications, but it is also the, it's also the intention that eligible spouses Civil partners or children will be entitled to the grant if they miss the deadline. However, late applications are not provided for by the order as amended. So, uh, does, uh, does the committee wish to report this under the general reporting ground and that the Scottish Government's answer suggests late applications will be allowed, but no provision for this is made in the order? And does the committee wish to invite the Scottish Government to consider correcting this along with the issue with the dates and highlight the Scottish Government's response regarding the deadline to the lead committee. Yes. Okay. Thank you. And the second instrument where issues have been raised is SSI 2024-31, the Dangerous Dogs Designated Types, Scotland Order 2024. The committee has received a considerable level of correspondence in relation to this SSI. The instrument designates the XL Bully as a dog type bred for fighting and subject to controls and safeguards under the Dangerous Dogs Act 1991. Under Section 28.2 of the Interpretation and Legislative Reform Scotland Act 2010, instruments subject to the negative procedure must be laid at least 28 days before they come into force, not counting recess periods of more than four days. <coughs> the instrument breaches this requirement as it was laid on the 31st of March 2023 and comes into force on Friday the 23rd of February. 2024. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it comes to force. Yeah. 31st of January. Sorry, sorry, I'll read it again. The instrument breaches this requirement as it was laid on the 31st of January 2023 and comes into force on Friday, 23rd of February 2024. In correspondence with the presiding officer, copied uh, to this committee 
which will be published in the Committee's report on subordinate legislation considered at today's meeting. The Scottish Government stated it did not meet the plain requirements because it considered it necessary to act, and I quote, with urgency to address growing public safety and animal welfare concerns, end of quote. Following reports of some owners coming to Scotland to sell their XL billy dogs after changes to the law in relation to these dogs in England and Wales. It stated that, and I quote, by introducing the same safeguards as operate in England and Wales, this removes the loophole created by the UK government in relation to English and Wales XL bully dog owners who come to Scotland, end of quote. This committee wished to draw this instrument to the attention of the Parliament on the reporting ground J for failure to comply with lane requirements as it was not laid 28 days, sorry, 28 counting days before it comes into force. Oliver? I'm, I'm happy to uh, report it on those grounds, convener, but uh, I do think it's regrettable uh, that uh, the 28-day breach occurred, uh, given the statements made by the First Minister in the Chamber, uh, and I think there was sufficient time uh, to bring the legislation earlier, given that it essentially replicates uh, existing legislation elsewhere in England and Wales. Okay, uh, thank you, Oliver. Any other colleagues have any comments? No. Okay. Um, certainly, I, I think we all uh, recognise that there, there has been a delay, but I think, I think we would also recognise that the Scottish Government were, or had indicated that they wanted to uh, consult with organisations uh, and individuals in Scotland. Um, so I, th I think it's safe to say that uh, part of that delay, at least, would have been because of that consultation process, um, because we know that there wasn't any dialogue with the Scottish Government prior to the England and Wales regulations uh, uh, being introduced. Yeah, as well. What remedies are open to this committee if there is a 28-day breach? Can you just complain about it, or is there anything else that's open to you to do? Uh, we can bring it to the attention of the Parliament and maybe report it to the Parliament. Uh, and then, I mean, apart from just reporting, mm -hmm. is there any remedy, like, can you say, well, we're not prepared to? Accept this if it falls without. You're know, just asking, what is there a nuclear option? Uh, so uh, the, certainly, the, that'd be more of an issue regarding the, the lead committee. Um, that we also be reported to the Parliament uh, and to the lead committee. They could then uh, take that forward. Thank you. Uh, and uh, and in correspondence with the Scottish Government, published alongside the papers uh, for this meeting, uh, the committee also questioned that on whether the instrument was sufficiently clear on identifying what an XL bully uh, type of dog is. Does the committee wish to draw the attention of uh, the, sorry, wish to draw the attention of the League Committee to its correspondence with the Scottish Government as it provides further information on definitions for XL bully dogs? Yes. Also under this agenda item, no points have been raised on SSI's 2024, 30, 35 and 36. Is the committee content with these instruments? Yes. In relation to SSI 2024-35, does the committee welcome that the instrument fulfils an early commitment by the Scottish Government to amend Schedule 4 of the Council Tax Reduction Scotland Regulations 2021 to insert a new part and section heading? Yes. Under Agenda Item Number 4, we are considering an instrument not subject to any parliamentary procedure. No points have been raised on SSI 2024-29. Is the committee content with this instrument? Yes. Thank you. And with that, I'll move the committee into private.